you're going to need to feed the muscle. It's really, really important. The number one issue people have is they undereat. At the end of the day, what it really comes down to is that it's the frequency. When they try to do it in the off season, they can't match that for whatever reason, whether it's because they have a mental, they don't have that mental push. The main thing is the food. The food is what really builds the body to look like that. I say, you know what? I'm gonna actually follow the diet this time. Dieting 100%. I was eating food every two hours on the clock, like a machine. They built up to that. You have a guy who starts bodybuilding today, they wanna start eating six meals a day. You build up to that. There's some reason I'm not getting back into the conditioning that I used to get into. You know, with my abs deep and my lower abs good and all that stuff, I wasn't seeing that. So you know, I said, you know what? I'm gonna cut all of that crap out. So you have to have a game plan. That's what the hell never knew. Does that do that? Same old man. It's pro time, baby. I ate every two hours. I started at about seven o'clock in the morning. Every two hours, I ate. I mean, it was constant fuel. Consistency. Breakfast of champion. Three chicken breasts, plain, about a cup, maybe a little more than a cup of white rice. This is avocados. This is my first meal and I'm starving, so I'm gonna get to it. You kind of just gotta forget that it's what you do. It's like normal things, like walking up the stairs, it's normality, isn't it? You don't think about walking up the stairs every time you do. Because if you did, you'd go mad. Same with dieting. Because I was training so fast, but I break it down. That's really what I wanted to do. And then I go home, feed the muscle with the nutrition, and then you get the rest, and that's when the muscle grows. The muscle doesn't run jump. That's the only way you break it down. We're still pushing, the carbs are going to keep pushing in. All weight is a good weight, so you can pick up a lot of weight on the scale, but then when you're bodybuilding or you're trying to get in shape, when you actually start dieting, if that's not real muscle that you built based on your nutrition, then it's pretty much just gonna fall off. Now it's a party, time to eat. That's when the growing takes place. Perfect these, these areas that can be even better than they are. You want to make sure that you have those building blocks that are going to help you with recovery. Nowadays, you've got to eat your ass off to be full. It's all about being full these days. If you any flat or anything like that, you're going to get smoked. You know, why hasn't the scale changed? Well, because you're putting on muscle while you're losing body fat, so you're not gonna see instant gratification. You're gonna see it in two, four, six weeks from now because you have to be disciplined. You gotta be disciplined. So if you're disciplined out there, you're gonna be disciplined in here. So if you're gonna be disciplined in the gym, 
chances are you're going to be able to transfer that discipline to what's happening at work or in your business. The thing it taught me was a self-discipline, you know, you have to have self-discipline just because you want to do something doesn't mean you need to do something, you know, and if you want to achieve something really great, then you're going to have a lot of sacrifices that you make to, to get there. And that means you've got to have self-discipline, you know, when you're, you're training for that show and you've been dining for months and you want to eat that piece of cake or ice cream or, or some trash that you don't need, you shouldn't eat, you don't pick it up, you don't put it in your mouth, it's self-discipline. Why would I do that? Because it's not going to help me, but it's going to help all my competitors and it's going to hurt me. It's always good to keep things very consistent. Because it literally is total control of what you put into your body. And if you can control that, and you can control the mind, you're unstoppable. 20 grams of this. You gotta think, as I was saying, like, you've come so far and done things meticulously, you might as well just be focused and driven to the final hurdle. Don't overly think about that. Just live your life in a way that you live in, in order to progress in the way you wish to progress. And that is your balance. Body's only going to perform as good as the food that you actually put in it. My biggest failures in bodybuilding have when I've lost consistency. The only people that don't make improvements are the people that aren't consistent. And that's the truth.